Good morning. Sorry, I can't figure out how you can see any of my face this morning, but here's my headlamp. <laughs> so the rain finally came in overnight. We got a lot of rain and today is supposed to be pretty darn rainy too. So I'm sure it's going to be fun. And today's destination is one of two places. Carter Gap Shelter is 12 and a half miles or hopefully I can push it to Betty Creek Campsite, which I think is just over 15, so one of the two. I went to bed some point after four, maybe like 4.30. I was just gonna take a nap, but I ended up sleeping through the night, and I did wake up once to the heavy rain, but I got so much sleep, and I slept so well, which is really good since I have, you know, been waking up in the middle of the night and so not getting enough sleep lately. I feel fantastic this morning. Let's go tackle some rain and muddy ground and wet socks. It's 7.15 now, so sunrise isn't too far off. Should start getting bright now. But so far, crossed a lot of little streams like this coming off the hills. Let me turn around to get going again. Uh, there's been a lot of fog. A, a lot of submerged trail where you're just stepping in big old puddles and a lot of mud. So, I mean, it's not hard to hike at night. You can see, well, hopefully you can see right here. It's like a pretty well-defined path. So it's kind of hard to get lost even at night, you know? If you keep moving and all of a sudden you're looking at a spot that looks not as clear as this, I always just stop and look around because clearly the trail turns and you spin a different direction and you say, oh, there it is. And keep going. Got to Deep Gap and there's a couple different directions to go, but this one is clearly marked AT North. And I am heading north, so that's the way to go. These bridges are cute. Trails are river, at least right here. So see this board right here, this piece of wood, and then they dug going downhill right there. So in the Grand Canyon, we call those water bars. I'm not sure what they're called here on the trail. Maybe someone knows and he can let me know, but they work really well. I mean, it keeps the water from running down the entire trail. You can see that part's dry right there where it's diverted. So it just helps with trail erosion. But here we go. This is my day. Splish, splash, splish, splash. Wet feet. Yep, we're doing it. Also, thank you trail maintainers for making this trail so nice for us. We appreciate all your hard work. A lot of them are volunteers. Have I mentioned yet that I am digging this umbrella big time? Well, my extremities are wet, but my head's dry, my shoulders are dry. Excellent purchase. At the moment, would highly recommend. Here you go, Dad. Trail intersection. You're worried I'm not sure which way to go, right? Well, this one's not even a 90 degree. Usually they're like perpendicular to each other, so if you just go straight, it's super easy. So do I go that way, or do I go this way? Oh, look! tree is marked with a big white blaze. I think I'll go that way. See, nothing to worry about. Your daughter is fine. It's pretty windy up here. Worst the wind is over, fingers crossed. There was a big section. I, I'm not sure if that little area has a name. I if I if it does, I look it up on gut hooks and I find a name, I'll put it on the screen so you know. But my goodness, it was so windy. 
not even just like gusts, like continuous hard, hard wind. And I want, I really wanted to film it, but I didn't have any hands left for you guys because the wind was blowing real hard. These umbrellas, I've always heard that you can't use them in high wind, right? So what I've been doing is just using a hand to hold the fabric on whichever side the wind is blowing from and just holding it down on that side. And so far that's been working real well. But the wind was blowing so hard in that section, I had a hand on one side, I had a hand on the other side. I had my torso kind of turned towards the wind and you know, kind of bending over so the umbrella is leaning into the wind. And at the same time, I was walking through sections like what you just saw a second ago, where the water was just about ankle deep because that was the lowest part of the landscape and the water had no place to go. So it all just sat on the trail. Oh boy, it was wild. Like I said, I'm so sorry I couldn't get that on camera, but I kind of needed both my hands at the moment. Woo, fun times on the AT guys, fun times. 400 calorie snack in the rain while staying dry? Yes, please. Five and a half hours later, I came across my first people of the day. Yay! There are people out here. We're gonna walk the rooster across here. A little bit of a tricky one. Got it, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, good job. <laughs> I'm just gonna slap it so I can do it all oh, yeah. the anyway. Makes things easy sometimes. There we go, no rock hopping today. timing works out and it's not too cold to where if you were to sit you'd get too chilled it's nice to have lunch at a actual shelter and sit down a little bit so that's what we're gonna do let's go check it out all right I don't know how far they expect us to go to get to the shelter usually if there's a bit of a walk to the shelter it will note it in bit hooks I did not see anything noted on this one but I'm already going down a little ways downhill. If I don't see that shelter soon, we may have to bail. Okay, so I walked all the way down there, found the water, didn't find the shelter, bailed. Guess what, look at this. Shelter, right? Did anybody notice this? That's not terribly evident. So I guess the shelter's coming up that away. Thanks a lot, sign. Bigger arrow, please. I just ran into Rooster again, and he did the same thing I did. He went all the way down that hill to come back up. So it's not just me, it makes me feel better. Carter Gap Shelter, guys. Keep going, it's not at the water source. Oh, okay. So here's the shelter. Just gonna, you know, sit down, relax for a minute, packs off, have some nice lunch. All right guys, we gotta puzzle something out here because I was gonna stay at Betty Creek Camp Gap? Is it a gap? Betty Creek Campsite at least, to make it a 16 point something mile day. However, uh, if I were to go five miles more, I'd be at the next shelter. That would put it at about a 20 mile day. Normally, I would totally rule that as out as too much too soon. Now, the pros for it would be the terrain's been relatively easy. I feel really good so far. I need to check in with my feet and my knees, make sure they're okay with it. And if I were to do that, 
it would only be a seven mile day into town the next day. So I'd have almost a Nero along with the zero the next day Yay. in Franklin. And it's supposed to get cold tonight. We got some people, some people showing up at the shelter. Hello. Hello. Uh, um, it's supposed to get a little colder tonight. The low is 35. So that's how cold it would be when I'm starting out tomorrow. And the high is 45. So I'm not looking forward to having a cold day. And if I were to push it to the next shelter, we passed the 100 mile mark today. So I'm gonna ponder this while I have my lunch. All right, well, had lunch, relaxed. I had a little heart to heart with my knees and my feet. They claimed they were feeling fine. So like I said, that's gonna be a, about a 20 mile day, hitting that 100 mile marker. As you can see, the rain has stopped. Hopefully that continues. And I had to make a decision because I had to call um, Gooder Grove Hostel uh, here because there was cell reception here. So that's what they recommended. They run shuttles every day to their hostel in Franklin from Winding Stair Gap right now from 8 to 8.30, 11 to 11.30 or 2 to 2.30. And so I had to make a decision right then at that shelter about where I was going to end up tonight. And decision is, we're going to go for it. We're going to try to pull a 20 miler on day number eight. I'm sure I will regret that decision. We'll find out. Do you think the rain could be done for the day? All right, everyone say hi to Pippin and Pippin's dad. Hello. <laughs> this is hiker laundry day on the trail, but it's a scenic wash machine, right? Oh, it's, a, oh, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's definitely got the cold down. <laughs> Do y'all have anybody you want to say hi to back home? Uh, hi, everybody back home, I guess. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Kylie, Todd, Todd Fred. <laughs> well, as it is, we'll be leapfrogging later. So I'll yeah. see you later. All right, sounds yeah. good. So Pippin's mom, you'll be glad to know that your daughter is staying clean and sanitary out here. <laughs> uh, also, I forgot to go over the hiker slang I mentioned earlier at lunchtime. Another hiker slang 101. Okay, zero and Nero. So y'all probably know that hikers need to go into town. Ooh, pretty looky. We have baby waterfalls. There's no shortage of water sources today, that's for sure. Um, okay, so you guys probably already know that hikers need to go into town every about three to five days to resupply on their food. So every once in a while, and the amount of time varies between individuals. For me right now, it's about once a week. You do what's called a zero. And what that means is you spend two nights in town so you have an entire day not hiking at all. So you've made zero miles. That's why it's called a zero. Now on the flip side, there's a Nero. And what that is, is when you just hike a little bit to get into town. So I was mentioning like my seven miles and change tomorrow is almost a Nero. That's kind of pushing it. Seven miles is a good amount. But like if you were hiking three or four, whoa. <laughs> you're hiking three or four miles into town, you know, you could consider that a Nero, which translates to a near zero. So there you go. Hope that helps. Oh, a view. Shall we check it out? I think so. Wow. Holy cow. Holy schmoly. Beautiful, isn't it? 
you know, I said earlier at lunchtime that the terrain had been relatively easy today. And I was talking to Superman and Bear Girl who came in while I was there and had mentioned that, you know, at least the terrain's pretty good today. And I forget, one or both of them said they didn't think so, that they were struggling. Which made me pause to think and wonder right now. I guess it's true that we all perceive things differently, you know, based on how we're feeling, etc. Two people can see things totally different ways. Pack soft snack break. So this here is Betty Creek Gap Campsite. And this is actually where we stayed one night last year. I just remembered it was a snow day since we started so early. So we camped further over. I'll pop a video in there of it so you can see it. But we camped on snow, crammed four of us in there. That was extra fun. I can do without the snow. Makes things harder. Well, snow is better than rain because things aren't wet, wet, you know, so there's that. But this was my original stopping point for today at about 15 miles. And so I thought I'd sit down, have a snack, check in with myself, make sure I'm okay to keep going. Verdict is, I think we're still feeling good. We got five more miles and I think we're gonna start the climb up to Albert Mountain next. And at the top of Albert Mountain is a fire tower. And written on the side of that fire tower is 100 mile marker. That's right, we've almost made it to 100 miles. Pretty exciting. I have stepped into the phone booth to change and we are ready for the climb. Three miles. All uphill. Let's go. Just as my socks were drying out. Oh well. There are so many little waterfalls cascading down this mountainside, which I'm assuming is runoff. But maybe they're springs. Cool little bridge thing. And it's looking like we're in for a real fine view at the top. So here's the trail. And there's where we're headed. Ooh. Does it look windy up there? Probably. The final countdown. Do 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 do. Do 100 miles. Do 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 do. out there in TV land, YouTube land. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> hey, 
And now that it hailed on us a little bit, I think it's time to go. Umbrella is engaged again. Man, talk about good timing, right? Woo! Just barely made it. Oh my goodness, we made it! Also, gonna make a note for myself that when I'm leaving tomorrow morning, I'm gonna go left and go downhill, not up. Don't wanna retrace steps. Whew. I think I'm gonna sleep good tonight, y'all. Well, this is a picturesque water source. This is Long Branch Shelter. Look how cute it is, little double-decker. 